morning. My name is Bruce and I am doing my video uh, workflow number three with my EMC Mechanica V5 Slim and uh, my niche grinder and my latest tool is a Bravo self-leveling tamper. So let's get right to it. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to start by fleshing out the group head. This is an HX machine, so if you're not familiar, um, the water gets superheated in the group head and you need to flush that out in order to get the water to perfect uh, brewing temperature. As you can see, it comes up quite bubbly, and at the end here, it's going to taper right off. There you go. So all the superheated water is now out of the group head. Put that aside. Let that cup warm up because it was cold. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm actually making a cafe uh, cappuccino today. So I'm going to preheat my cappuccino cup because I like a hot cup. We'll get our beans. 17 and a half grams are going to go in. That's 13.7. Drop the bean. Oh, God. Seventeen one, seventeen four, seventeen seven, seventeen five. Okay. So we have the seventeen point five uh, grams. So we're going to put it in the niche. Turn the niche on. I like give it a few taps there just to knock out any excess. Take the grinds, give them a little shake. I'm gonna take the porter filter out and dry it out. Here we go. Take the grinds, put them in the oops, take them in the porter filter. I have a WDT tool here, which I use to just even out the grinds. So I'm just going to tamp down this. Give that a quick tamp. I'm going to bring my EMC leveler distribution tool, a couple of fast twists, yep, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to use my self-leveling uh, tamper. This produces an even 43 pounds of pressure all the way straight down into the puck. And there we go, we have a perfect puck. Now one of the things I use, um, always use, unless I forget, is a puck screen. So I just place that on top of my puck like so. It's a perfect fit. 
and then I place it back in the espresso machine. Okay, so let's make an espresso. All right, so you put the little cup on the thing, on the scale, zero it out. There we go. Okay. So here we're going to go, hopefully, 36 grams out in approximately 26 seconds or so. Eight grams, 10 grams, 12 grams, 15 grams, 18 grams, 22 grams, 26, 27, there we go, and 35.2, so we were close, in 36 seconds, 35 seconds, <clears throat> so close, but not close enough, and now I've already got my milk here, but to make it a little easier to see, I'm going to take this porter filter out, because it's in the way. condensation in the wand and This makes really nice foam. My problem is I had to make too much foam. Well, actually that's my main problem. I make too much foam. And that's about good right there. All right, so let's try to make my cappuccino. Don't expect great latte art. I am really lousy at that. So I'm going to put my espresso in my larger cup. I don't have a cappuccino glass dedicated yet. Hopefully I'll get some for my birthday. And my foam. I actually don't expect any art at all. Usually I don't, with this cup it's really hard. Yeah, no art. But lots of foam. And that, my man, is my cappuccino. So one of the new toys that I've purchased uh, to do my espresso work is this handy dandy uh, Bravo Tamper. Uh, let's see if you can see that there, Bravo Tamper. Tamper. It's really beautiful construction. It's beautiful wood, uh, nice uh, piece of uh, plastic here-ish. Um, and the way the tamper works, if you've never seen a self-leveling tamper, is there's this. This is the guide. And then this is the tamp. So when you press down, this part here presses an even 43 pressure, pounds of pressure all the way down. And it's adjustable under the handle. If I take this piece out here, there's a uh, hex nut in the air. And you just turn the nut and it adjusts the amount of pressure that's applied when you push. So if you want 25 pounds of pressure, you can do that. If you want you know, less, you can do that. Um, I've left it at the default right now, and I find it works really, really well. So I have had no need. I've had no need to change it. So this is not cheap. <clears throat> I think I paid about two hundred and fifty dollars Canadian, including shipping and duty. Um, so it's really an extravagance. I uh, I can't see how most people can afford to uh, purchase something like this. But it is a wonderful tool and a great addition to any espresso aficionado.
The other thing I haven't had a chance to use yet, I just got this from Turkey. And this is a dosing cup for my porter filter. It has magnets on it, so if I wanted to dose like that, I could do that. And the other thing that's really great with this dosing funnel is when I'm doing the WDT, I now no longer have to worry about uh, I no longer have to worry about uh, my grounds spilling out on out, out of the porter filter. So um, this was also expensive. But um, I've always found it worthwhile because it just reduces the amount of mess that you get. Um, and you saw this is my uh, WDT tool. This is uh, made up of, uh, I believe this is 3D printed. It has a little screw off piece here and you put your, your uh, acupuncture needles down, needles down through the top. This particular one has one, two, three, eight, nine, has eight, has nine needles. Um, and I find it does an excellent job of distributing grinds inside the porta filter, the coffee inside the porta filter. That one I got, that I got from Etsy. So, uh, oh, as to the coffee, hold on one second. Oh. Uh, also, uh, if you're wondering what kind of coffee I'm using, I'm using this uh, Happy Goat Coffee Company coffee. It's called uh, Brazilian Espresso, uh, Morgania. Uh, it's an, what they say, an espresso roast, which really is, means it's a slightly dark medium. Um, uh, <clears throat> I've used others. I used, uh, uh, but I really like this particular one. Um, it says its uh, flavor notes are chocolate, bittersweet and nutty and I think that's pretty close to the mark um, yeah but if you're ever interested in a coffee from Ottawa Canada give this happy goat coffee company a try